everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. I have some lipsticks that I like to swatch for you. They are by Charlotte Tilbury and they are the new Hot Lips 2 collection. When they came out, there was one shade that I was quite interested in. So I looked on her website and what did I do? I went ahead and bought six of them. Yes, I know, I know, but I went ahead and bought six of them and I'd like to swatch them for you. There are 11 shades in this collection and I only got six. So at least I didn't get the whole set. But these new 11 shades, Charlotte Tilbury, she named them after incredible icons. They were rule breakers, record makers, and history shakers. So I grabbed a few. What's different about this collection is one, they are refillable. So whenever you finish your favorite lipstick, you can go and buy a new one. And then two, you could pop it in the new bullet case that she came out with. There are five different designs in the bullet casing and unfortunately the six that I bought, I only got four different designs, which is okay because I got three of my favorite design, which is this one here, the Art Deco one. These lipsticks cost $37, so it's $3 more than her regular lipsticks that come in her rose gold signature color. So they are a little bit more expensive, probably the mechanism for the, uh, the refillable cost more and the design, of course. So whenever you run out of your favorite lipstick shade, the refill costs $25 and then you pop it back into your favorite bullet casing. Now I was watching Michelle Wong and in her video she mentioned this, but on this bullet casing right here, the name of this shade is on this one. So if you have another refill that you just want to get and pop it into here, it won't have the name of the refill on this bullet casing. I hope that makes sense. If not, I'll link her video down below. I'm sure you all have seen her video. She is a wonderful YouTuber, very informative. I get a lot of my information from her. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a guess of a design flaw. But in all honesty, for me, I don't know how you can kind of figure out the name. Maybe probably, probably could have put the name on the refill itself. Let me pull this off. This is how you take it off. So maybe they could have put the refill right here somewhere all along that line, but they didn't ask my opinion, so I don't know. And then you get the refill and then you pop it back in here and twist it back down, close it, and there you go. Now when I got these lipsticks, they do come in a pretty box. Really nice packaging. Usually I just put them in the recycling bin. I don't need to keep it, but this one, it is really cute. It looks like the bullet that it comes in and you just push it out and it comes in this little box, which I think I'll keep this one. I'll put this one in the recycling bin and I'll keep it in here stored like this because it's kind of neat. And it also has the name of the lipstick right there. I think I have it upside down. Do I have it upside down? Yeah, I have it upside down. So you can kind of see the name of the lipstick on the box. I just think that looks cute. I mean, that is really, <laughs> really cool. This one here is a red leopard print and you just pull it out and it's in this box. Really, really cute. And the name of it is, oops, right there. So that's the name of this one. And the other design I got is the regular leopard print. Again, you pull it out and there is the bullet casing for that one. And the other design I got, it looks like the Art Deco one, but it has panthers on it. Let me take it out of this box right here. Yeah, this one's really cool. And the fifth bullet design, it's real pretty. It's black with gold stars all over it. Kind of wish I got that one, but oh well. It is pretty though, but I think my favorite one is still the Art Deco one. I like this casing right here. I mean, that's, that is just so cool. And I'm going to look down here on my computer. It says that Charlotte Tilbury will pledge 1 million pounds of the hot lip sales to Women for Women International. And this is a charity that will help women survivors of war rebuild their lives. So that is a wonderful thing for Charlotte Tilbury to do. All right, I'm going to bring you in closer and then we'll start swatching these lipsticks. All right, I'll start with the lightest shade first. And the six that I bought, three of them are in the Kissing Formula and three of them are in the Matte Revolution Formula. Now, I'm not familiar with the Kissing Formula that much because I have only four lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury and three of them are the Matte Revolution. And the Kissing one that I have is a little bit too light for me, so I don't wear it that often. So again, I'm not familiar with it. So we'll see how these 
feel on my lips. And let's go ahead and start with this one here, the pretty Art Deco one with the Black Panther or Panthers on it. Now this shade is called Angel Alessandra and it's named after, I'm going to look here on the website, Alessandra Ambrosio. Now I don't know who she is. There are a couple here that I don't know, which is okay, which is okay. And of course I'm not going to put a lip liner on. I just want to see how these lipsticks look on my lip. You can see that I do have pigmented lips. And it is a sunset peachy nude. Right here is Angel Alessandra and this is a pretty peachy nude. And it feels very creamy on my lips, so not bad with the kissing formula. Now I do have to say this, I did have to build it up a little bit on my lips. It was a little streaky. I don't know because of the shade on my lips. You know, I really do like this color. Of course I need to wear a lip liner with this, but I like this shade. All right, now let's try Glowing Gin and it comes in this real pretty rose gold leopard casing. And she describes this as a tawny beachy rose and it pays homage to Jennifer Aniston. Ooh, this one's a pretty one too. I like this one. This is in the kissing formula and this one pays homage to Jennifer Aniston, which I do know who she is. But this is a real pretty one and I didn't have to build this one up not that much as the Angel Alessandra. I believe that one's, <laughs> I believe that's her name. Yes, that one was Angel Alessandra. This one, I didn't have to build it as much as that one. But this is a real pretty rosy color. Yeah, I like this one. So far, the two that I've tried, I really do like. I like this one a lot though. All right, Jennifer Aniston. Next, let's try In Love with Olivia. And this one comes in my favorite bullet. It's that Art Deco one. Real pretty. I like this one. This is a sumptuous pink lipstick named after Olivia Palermo. Now, I don't know who Olivia Palermo is, but it is a real pretty pink. Again, like the first one I tried, I did have to build this one up because it did leave a little streak. So I can kind of see uh, the pigment of my lips underneath it. But it is a pretty pink. It's perfect for spring and summer. Yeah, it's really nice. The next three are in the Matte Revolution formula. So I'm thinking that the lighter shades are in the Kissing formula and the darker you go, it's in the Matte formula. And this one is amazing, a mall, and it comes again in this Art Deco casing. And this shade is the one that I really did like. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And this is a soft berry pink that's named after Amal Clooney. And I'm sure we all know who Amal Clooney is. And yeah, I like this color. Yeah, I do like this shade. Yeah, it's real pretty. I like this. We've got some contenders here. Got some contenders. Now this one is Viva La Vaguera. Of course, this one's named after Sofia Vaguera, which beautiful. She is a knockout, let me tell you. And it comes in my favorite bullet, the Art Deco one. And this is a real pretty one. And this is a soft wine lipstick. I thought this one would be a little bit darker than Amazing Amal. Uh, it's still a pretty color. I do like this color, but I think I like Amazing Amal better. This one's a little bit more muted, which could be, you know, for a daytime look. It's not bad. I do like it, but I thought it'd be a little bit darker. And the last shade that I have, it is Patsy Red. And the bullet that it comes in, it's a red leopard print. And I do like that she put the red lipstick in the red bullet. That was really, no, okay. <laughs> that was really clever. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't break. And it is a statement red lipstick that is named after Charlotte Tilbury's mother. I think that's nice that she named a lipstick after her mother. And it's a real pretty shade. I like this one too. Ooh, it's made my teeth a little whiter. <laughs> yeah, I do like Patsy Red. This is real pretty. I do like it. And you know, the matte formula, it's still a little creamy for me on me. But a lot of the times I will put a gloss over it, a clear gloss. The Kissing Formula is also very creamy, a lot more creamier than the matte. But for me, the matte still has a little bit of a cream texture to it. Yeah, this is a pretty red. I really do like them. Actually, I like them all. I'm really surprised about the Angel Alessandra. I don't know why I can't remember that name. Angel Alessandra, because I thought it'd be too light. But I do like that peachy shade. I think my 
least favorite one out of all of these would be in love with Olivia. It's just, I don't know, the, the color just wasn't me, I guess you could say. But pretty much everything else, I really do, really do like it. Yeah. And I like the packaging. It is really cute. And also that it helps other women rebuild their lives. This is a really nice collection. The shades that I picked out, it's really nice. And I hope that you find this helpful. You know, kind of seeing on my skin tone. And then I went ahead and swatched them on my arm all together so you can kind of see the different shades. And the first one is Angel Alessandra, Glowing Gin, In Love with Olivia, Amazing Amal, Viva La Vaguera, and Patsy Red. All right, you guys, I hope you found this lip swatch video of the Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Lips 2 collection helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.